I don't like sour grapes. I don't like old people saying how great it was when they were growing up and how junk it is now because I was a young guy and I had to listen to that when I, I was coming up and I'm not going to do that. It's the Kenny Wallace Conversation brought to you by Jex. Your voice matters. You, uh, people listen to you. So I've got to ask you about NASCAR. Uh, this new next-gen car, uh, what is your thoughts on just that car coming into NASCAR? First thought that comes to mind that is not a popular fan, uh, you know, um, opinion, but I've seen the best racing in NASCAR history since that car has come out. I agree. Best racing on track in history. The best in history. So stop complaining about it. Right. Um, the other side of it is I don't like it. Would hate it. Would hate to be driving now. The guys hate working on them. And they ain't saved no money yet. Uh, so I'm not a lover of the car. It looks like a, a sports car underneath. You know, it doesn't look like a NASCAR car. I've already told you. I don't like sour grapes. I don't like old people saying how great it was when they were growing up and how junk it is now because I was a young guy and I had to listen to that when I, I was coming up and I'm not going to do that. It is what it is. The concept was solid. The concept of the car was solid. Uh, and the damn competition is unbelievable. So it is here. It's here to stay. Let's improve on it and go forward. The only other thing I want to say about NASCAR is you said my voice matters. I it say does. it does. And I got more questions about that car. It, it, it matters to fans. It doesn't matter to the important people. It doesn't matter that much to NASCAR. I've never had NASCAR's ear like Dale Sr. had. Um, you know, and I've never been a political guy, but, uh, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. That car is what it is. And we should just make the most of it going forward. So the other facet of this car is the crazy hardcore tech inspection that comes along with the penalties. So you and I right now, you know, we're breaking this car down in segments. I agree with you car's been incredible. I love the racing. Give me your opinion of the tech inspection and then the penalties that come out. You know, we race on Sunday, we get these, you know, on Wednesday and Thursday. Give me your opinion on tech inspection and penalties. I don't, I don't like it. I, I, you know, I just reflect on Denny Hamlin getting the race taken away over a piece of helicopter tape. I understand I get it. I understand that NASCAR has to have tight tolerances. I understand where we are today. Don't make me like it. Um, I think that, you know, these penalties have to be done. Uh, I don't like seeing appeals being overturned or lightened up, uh, they didn't, they didn't on mine, my most critical one, you know, they, they should have, they should have, you know, yeah, we, we, you know, we, but, but they didn't back in the day when they made a decision, that was a decision. Now it's more complicated. What happened back in the day, even in 19, in the mid nineties, you go to the racetrack, get beat, you come cut the body off. You could push the tail to the right an inch and push the nose to the left an inch. You can't do that. 70 thousandths will get you thrown out of here. Your fingernail, your fingernail. Yeah. yeah. And that's the biggest tolerance. You know, there's a reason for that. So because we, we kept pushing and kept pushing and you know better than I, you, you're, you know more than I do, but I'll give you a good analogy. Dirt late models are the last best racing we have because they have some rules 
but they don't have so dang many that you can't breathe. And, and it's really cool. And, and your modified stuff, maybe I'm not as, I have my finger on the pulse of Dav Davenport's car and team and program. So I kind of know, I still am, a, but if, if you want uh, able to enjoy dirt late model, it's purity and to the core and not just the on track experience or product. Uh, you know, asphalt late models, it's, it's over. It's right. just like NASCAR. I mean, it's, you can't do nothing. And it happens all the time. These guys, you know, get wins taken away, the snowball derby and this deal and that deal. It's the day we live in. There's so many smart people pushing so many buttons that you, you, you had to regulate this. Well, first you had a long template. Everybody cheated all over the car everywhere else. So then you put cross templates on it. Then you just cheated and everywhere else. Then you put the claw on it. Then you just cheated in between the claw. You're taking us along the steps of all the and, inspections. Yeah, and then you get the eagle eye scan thing, you know, and it's like, that's how it is. It's how we, we forced it to be that way because there wasn't two or three smart people around. There were hundreds doing it everywhere. And you just shouldn't complain about all this tech inspection stuff. It has to be tight and it has to be enforced. So we, we got here because we're talking about the next gen car. We're talking about tech inspection and penalties. So we've wrapped that up. Uh, I want to, one last thing, or a couple questions more. Uh, beating and banging. So I talked to, I talked to, you know, I went to Bristol and they just are knocking the hell out of each other because the car's like a German tank and they can get away with it. The, the front of the car is so strong that they're just, as you see it, me and you watch the races and I talk to these guys still. I asked Austin Dillon, I said, Austin, I said, why in the hell are y'all just knocking the hell out of each other? He says, Kenny, we used to have to guard against it because we knocked the radiator out. He says, these cars are so strong, it's the only way we pay them back. What is your opinion on just the totality of knocking the hell out of each other nowadays. It's a different day and age, Kenny, and, yeah. you know, embrace it. I like the contact. Uh, I don't like seeing dirty. I, I like seeing racing side by side, race your guts out. It's Door okay marks. if you rub some. Um, I'm all good with that. I don't like seeing, you know, I'm not a big fan of bump, bump and run, but this stuff's fun to watch. Racing on product on the racetrack is uh, is fun. It's a different day and age. Everybody's cars are closer together in speed, harder to pass. We used to be able to cars so dang light, you couldn't touch somebody or it'd mess something up. So light. But, uh, you know, it's a different day and age. Yeah. And I embrace it. It's, it is what it is. I like it. So, uh, We've had a lot of hardship in this interview, but very therapeutic. What is, let's wrap NASCAR up right now. What is good about NASCAR? The competition on the racetrack. Uh, they, uh, it's the crown jewel of stock car racing. It still is, has been, you know, since the, 60s 50s or 60s um and it's an opportunity for a lot of people to realize their dreams which is work on on uh you know big time race race cars and race teams